Got a box from Axial. Let's see what rigs in there. When I pull up in the wind, they be saying God damn. When I hop out with my shawty, they be saying God damn. They never show me love, now they see I got back. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Lotus RC. Zeb again. <clears throat> so, we have the Axial Wraith 1.9, as you may have seen from that little reveal clip. And yes, you may notice she's a little dirty. I've already been playing with her a little bit at this point and have already lost a body clip, which we'll talk about in the review. It has to do with these little clips down in the battery tray that no other reviewers mentioned that stopped the battery that was recommended by Axial for this truck from going down in there. So I'm a little annoyed by that. But anyway, so this is your truck. Battery goes in by pulling the clips and popping the hood, which can be difficult. And it takes an EC3 compatible plug. The only batteries that come with that, to my knowledge, are Spectrum. And like I said, you gotta take those stupid little clip things down in there. We'll talk more about that in the review if I remember it by then. I plan to get a lot of trail time in with this truck before we review it, just like we did the other trucks. So let's go ahead, and that's just like rocks and stuff over here on the hood. That's nothing major. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. <clears throat> so this is your box. I'm going to read a few things off the back here for you. So it has the skid plate and both sides that you can see down here. It has your typical AX10 transmission, dual slipper clutch, protective inner fender wells to keep your electronics a little bit cleaner, uh, CMS chassis mounted servo, four link rear suspension, AR44 high pinion axial axles in here and then we'll flip the box around over here and I don't know if you guys will be able to see that from my camera but you got metal gear servo 35 turn brushed motor spectrum STX2 transmitter Spectrum SRX 200 receiver, waterproof receiver box that looks kind of like an LS engine, which is pretty cool. Adjustable coil over shocks. And then you've got these. What is, oh, W88 HD wild. Wild boar drive shafts. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read it at this angle. Adjustable battery tray and a Dynamite AE5L ESC with drag brake. And that's a pretty strong drag brake at that. Now mine, because you can see on this end of the box, it comes in orange or black. Well, I went with the black because it's just cool looking. Now inside, you're gonna get your remote without batteries, your truck without battery. And then it comes with all this stuff here in this packet. So let's go ahead and set the truck up here. And here's your remote, got your typical bells and whistles that a standard RTR truck comes with. Got your little binding plug open just a little more so this is all just some extra parts you can put a usual SCX 10 bumper because this is like a cross between a Wraith and an SCX 10 2 deadbolt from what I'm understanding got little trail markers here that you can set out to create a gate to go through got your little star wrench thing here got 
extra links for your suspension. These are the extra heads for your driver. It's already got the motocross helmet in it. I'm an ex-motocross rider, so I'm leaving that in. This is kind of cool. It's got twin turbos that you can bolt in there. So you can turn it into a twin turbo LS. It has a spare servo horn. Then it comes with these little screws and whatever these other little box wrench end looking things are. But they're tiny, so they're not for working on the truck, I'll tell you that. And then these are those stupid little battery clips that I mentioned. So just in case I forget it by review time, I'm going to put it here in this video. These little tabs screw down into your battery tray and your battery basically presses them backwards and they kind of give you a snugger fit. Well, the battery that Axial recommended that I buy for this thing wouldn't fit until I took these out. So just so you know, these, if you get the Spectrum 5000 milliamp 3S battery, you're gonna have to take these out. So in case I don't mention that in the review, these are what's stopping you if your battery doesn't wanna fit in your tray. So let's go ahead and bag this stuff back up real quick. And we'll move on. Got your manual. It's the most fun part of an RC car, I know. So I'm going to actually move you guys in so you can see this. All right, we're back. So here's your manual. Again, comes in the orange or the black. I picked black. Cool looking cover on your manual. Got your table of contents and all that. You probably can't read it because it's in very small print. But it'll basically go through and talk about your truck. And here's your battery again. Takes an EC3 compatible connector. Talks a little bit about binding your radio. Here's a skeletonized view of your truck here's for your drag brake gear ratios if you want to re-gear this thing i don't know if i'll do that or not probably not because it's just going to be kind of a little play around truck for me talks about your warranty fcc information about how your radio can't interfere with anything and then it goes into your other languages let's see if there's any more english anywhere in here probably not at this point nope that looks like german probably spanish or french there yeah so that's all just more stuff and then you've got some blank pages here in the back for writing down notes and whatever you may have done to it and then it's got your parts stuff back here with part numbers and it's written in all the different languages so it's a pretty cool little manual i'll give it that it's more detailed than a lot of manuals i've seen boom but there's your truck, and you can probably see now up close that she is rather dirty because I have driven her a little bit today. And yes, I rolled it a couple of times. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little reveal of the newest member of our fleet. And I'm itching to get it out here and get it on the trail, so... Stick around, guys. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. And we'll see you in the next one.